Good morning. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here on Mayhan Drive um, east of Tallahassee near I-10 at the uh, park by the library. Um, we're going to talk about uh, this COVID situation. The Dallas Cowboys, uh, they uh, have a, a situation where they're dealing with where um, players of of uh, in COVID protocol and everything and stuff, and I just hope the Dallas Cowboys get that and get that right perspective and everything, and and then we can get along with this new season and everything. Um, Mari Cooper is back from injury, and he's looking great and everything and stuff. And um, I was looking at Mr. Rome uh, Cowboy football, and he was saying that the Tampa Bay people are putting out uh, uh, clickbait media that uh, Dallas should be scared of them. Oh, they should be scared of us because guess what? We got Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, and Michael Gallup at wide receiver. So that, if anybody should be scared, the Tampa should be scared of us. Dallas is not scared of nobody, and it shouldn't not be that way. Uh, we're the Dallas Cowboys, and we don't we don't have to be scared of other people. I just want to show you what the lake looked like right now. Just a moment. Um, this beautiful day right here. That's um, it, we are uh, walking on the down this uh, trail right here and um and i'm showing just what it does look like right now but the dallas cowboys we are not afraid of anybody we don't have to be afraid of anybody because we are america's team we're the dallas cowboys we don't have to be afraid of people um uh, the, we got one more preseason game to go and that's against jacksonville this weekend um and um I'm kind of, kind of glad that Dallas is, is uh, keeping Dakota Prescott in check where he can be, be, get rest and everything and be prepared for this new season. Uh, I don't think he really does need any preseason work, even though some people, these t talking heads on ESPN, uh, analysts and NFL Network, first take and, uh, and speak for yourself and all these other analysts constantly have said that the Dallas need uh, to get him some work, but guess what? He he has enough experience to know what's going on with the team and everything. So I don't think he need to do that. Um, and it's going to be a great year. Good morning. How you doing? Uh, it's going to be a great year for our Dallas Cowboys and everything. And I really do think that we can get through this. Um, I um, I'm just just excited about this new season and everything. Um, it is going to be a Rick, really a fantastic, wonderful year for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, let's stop for a moment and let's look, take a look back at the park, look, look at the uh, lake and show you what it looked like. And it's all, it's all a beautiful lake and everything here by the library and everything. Uh, and, and so this is probably my second time doing a video here at this, at this lake. But I just wanted to share that with you that um, the Dallas Cowboys, we are... Uh, we can get through this, and I just want to speak to the Dallas Cowboy fans everywhere, all over America, here in, in Florida, Texas, wherever you're in California, you're in up north, in the northeastern states, or if you're in other countries like Canada, Europe, uh, Mexico, or whatever, Spanish, or Spain, or whatever, where you located at, um, that's, that's stick together, that's uh, stop fighting amongst ourselves, and and uh, downgrading our quarterback, because Dakota Prescott really is a great quarterback. He's a fantastic uh, quarterback. And I'm saying this because uh, sometimes some fans feel that uh, we don't have a good quarterback, but we got a great quarterback. Uh, when he went down after that injury against uh, the stinking uh, Giants uh, um, in week in week what five or six, whatever week it was, it shows how desperate we was, the situation we was in when he went down. And uh, and we never recovered because we had uh, uh, Gilbert at quarterback, Ben DiNucci, and Cooper Rush. And all three of them were not the answer to solving the problem at quarterback. Uh, Gilbert, he holds the balls too long when he's, you've seen in the preseason games that we've been in, when uh, he's, in, he's in scoring territory and he holds the ball too long, and he constantly uh, uh, looked like a deer in headlights, looking scared, uh, scared instead of him going through his reads and getting get rid of the ball. 
and the clock should be in his head that well, the rush is on him, he hold the ball too long. Ben DiNucci, he got an orthodox uh, throwing motion that is really not that well. And, uh, and Cooper, he looked pretty good in the drive last week that was against, um, against Houston, where he, he, he looked really, really well. Now I got to give him credit where that, that's due, but still, I think the Dallas Cowboys, I'm gonna say this, I think the front office of the Dallas Cowboys need to um, go and get some other people from free agency, some better, quarter, better backup quarterback play. Because uh, if we don't, we are really in a whole bunch of trouble right now. A desperate situation. And uh, so if they, don't, if they don't do that, if the front office people don't come to some conclusion that we, do, that, we, we, that, we do need, that we do need better backup play because in, uh, if you look at all the great seasons the Dallas Cowboys has had and the bad seasons, Okay, like during when the time when Roger Stopper was playing, Danny White was his backup, which he was a really pretty good backup. Okay, um, and so, and you see how that turned out. It turned out to be fantastic and great. Uh, 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 we we need we need some work in those areas, and uh, and I'm just hoping that the Dallas Cowboys front office can do something about that and get this situation rectified, and. Uh, and, and do something about that. So that's what I, that, that's, that's the subject of today. Can the Dallas Cowboys uh, fix this quarterback play and fix what's, what's wrong with this team? And my answer to the question, to that subject, can they do that? And the answer is, I'm gonna answer it myself, yes, they can. But it, it depends on uh, the coaching and the style of play. And one other thing I want to say that we look good at is uh, Micah Parsons and all these preseason games I, because his style of play and the way um, um, uh, the mighty Dan Quinn is teaching and allowing him to, to motivate and, and to teach these players how to play defense. The defense looked a whole lot remarkably better than, than it did last season, a whole lot better. And I believe because Micah Parsons playing so great, is going to help the other weak, weaker players uh, like Jalen Smith and uh, and, and Vaitlin, uh, Van Der Esch. What if I can pronounce his name right? I apologize. But Leighton Van Der Esch. But the thing is, in that situation, is that uh, we're going to have a, we're going to have to get get, get more work in those areas done. Uh, I just hope that the Dallas Cowboys can pick up some more free agent, free agent uh, defensive tackles. Uh, in the um and for the defense and everything so that's what i'm gonna talk about today uh let's let's keep walking even though i hear a lawnmower or something making a lot of right and i don't want to put that on the on my video but guess what um the dallas cowboys need to put something together right now the front office people must uh solve the situation that's what's wrong with this team in those areas and i think we're doing just that so let's go Dallas Cowboys. Let's win the NFC East. That's upset Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And let's have a great, exciting year. I just want to tell everyone to be blessed. Put God in your life and be encouraged and be thankful. And um, and and uh, and let's get let's get this thing done. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you and everything. I'm just coming away from that machinery because I don't want to hear all of it in my video. Good morning. Good morning. But. I just wanted to share that with you, is that I think we can we can get this thing situated. And so this is Dallas uh, Sports 1977 coming to you from here at um, here at the lake. I'm gonna show you one more look at it. Here at the lake and everything is a, is a great year and everything and it's coming from here from the lake. So you be blessed, be encouraged, be thankful, and God bless and have a great day. Um, and you put God first and let's go Dallas Cowboys and let's win this thing. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.